I'm sorry, y'all. This is going to be a really strange video. Um, number one, I'm not used to looking at a camera. Um, feels really weird. Um, number two, my phone did this flip thing when it was on the tripod, and so everything really went squirrely. But this stuff is good, so I want to get something out there. Um, what I'm making today is I'm taking the, the recipe for poppy seed dressing, and I'm making it with chia. Now, I haven't seen anybody do this. I'm sure there there has been, because if I've thought of it, somebody else certainly has. Um, but chia, you know, so many benefits in it. They're doing studies that it lowers blood sugar. Um, it supposedly does lower blood pressure. It's very rich in omega-3, which helps with inflammation, um, building bones. I have a list here. Oh, yes. Helps joint pain supports the heart and is a digestive help. So I do usually put it in um, most things I eat anyway and I just thought why not try dressing. So I may not get this voice exactly perfect with where this video is but I'm really trying here. So what you're gonna need and I am making a half recipe because I haven't made this one before uh, but what you're gonna need is half a cup of white vinegar a third a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of dry mustard, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of minced onion, one cup of vegetable oil, and one tablespoon of poppy seeds. And again, what you're seeing now is, is because I'm doing the half recipe of it. But if I didn't like it, I probably would not have put this video up, but I actually do like it. So you're just going to take all that and you're going to dump it in your blender. Okay, so getting it all dumped in there and then you're going to pour the vinegar in and I just pulsed it together because my onions are not exactly minced um, because I dehydrated them myself okay so I, I processed that up and you want to start pouring in the oil really slowly because you want to emulsify it together normally if you're making poppy seed you would leave those out until everything was emulsified and then you would put them in but it didn't bother me that the chia were chopped up through there because I kind of want the benefit for it all and I did notice I did not have quite enough oil in there because it was rather thick when I started to pour it so what I did was I put um, a little more oil in it and I reprocessed it and this is where I'm checking obviously not hard to deduce that one, but it is a little thick here. You can kind of see when I'm trying to pour it in there, that's just a little thick for dressing. So I knew I shouldn't have even poured it, but I did. So I just made myself extra dishes. It's okay though. I ended up just, it wasn't all going to fit in this anyway. So I ended up just really pouring it back in the blender and reprocessing it. And what I got, sorry, but this is where everything was messing up. Um, what I got was a half pint of the salad dressing. I don't know how well that shows up, but it's obviously it's green because of the olive oil. Um, you can store this for several months. Just keep it in your refrigerator. And again, if you like poppy seed, you know it does have a vinegar sweet flavor to it as well. If you like the poppy seed, then I hope at least if you like chia that you will give this one a try. Um, it actually is very good on salads. And again, I my deepest apologies for the video being so messed up, but stuff happens. Y'all have a great day. God bless you.